We want to invite you to a workshop in Sydney, Australia on Thursday, October 30th, this year, 2025, on mould, building a and growing a successful business. I'm Dr. Gavin McGregor Skinner. I'm the Senior Director at ISSA. I'm here with Doug Hoffman. <laughs> I'm Doug Hoffman. I'm with NORMI, National Organization of Remediators and Microbial Inspectors. Together, we've got over 50 years of frontline experience on dealing with microbial threats and building a business model that will help improve your bottom line and your return on investment. We're so excited about being able to share our training, certification programs. We've got over 32 certifications. We've got training program. We're going to make available a great package deal to get you involved in this business to understand how to make money in the business. That's right, we are. <laughs> We're going to help you understand what technical skills you need, but more importantly, we're going to talk about how we partner and collaborate with many of the training academies and institutes in already in Australia to teach those technical skills, but more importantly, we're going to leverage Doug's expertise on how to take the technical skills and build them into your business. Make them work for you. Understand the documentation, understand the partnerships and relationships you need to build for a successful mold remediation business. So I've always told people that I've been self-unemployed for 40 years. I know how to build a business and we're going to talk to people about how to build a business around this incredible industry on the assessment side and the remediation side of dealing with microbial contaminations that affect everyone. Virtually every environment needs to, to have what we teach. Many of you are already doing fantastic work on the front lines in creating healthy and safe indoor spaces. But how do you go to the next level, that level of operational excellence? With the expertise that Doug has and many others, including myself, and what we've done here both in the US and in other countries, we're going to share those case studies, share those stories, share those real world examples to help you get to a new level of operational excellence. So when you talk about your business, how are you marketing your business? How are you contracting your business? How are you doing your assessments? How are you making decisions to make the business grow? All of that we're going to try to cover. How are you going to run a successful business? That's the important thing you need to know. And we're so excited to link this with what the Australian government and many of our colleagues have been working on for months, the S520 IRCRC mold standard. It's so important. We need standards in our industry, but more importantly, we need to help you be compliant with the standards. And also, we need to help, from our experience here in the US, how we've taken the standards that we already have and we've turned them into operational successes. And we've shown that, yes, we can build successful businesses and strategies with the appropriate documentation, including the skills that you need to ensure that those standards drive you forward to the next level of continuous improvement and operational excellence. And that S520, ICRC S520, that really is the standard of care. That's the end point. That's where we want to go with our jobs. But how do you get there? Normie has written the Normie Professional Practices. It's going to tell you the best practices on both the assessment side and the remediation side. How do you get to that great standard of care? We're going to teach you how to do that. We're looking forward to our trip down under. For me, I'm coming home. For Doug, his, his first trip to Sydney, we're going to have fun. Please come to our workshop. Let's, let's, let's put this team together. Let's collaborate, but let's work, work together under a community of practice on how we can drive the needle, how we can improve us as professionals, more importantly, how we can take a standard like the S520 and make it operational. I just want to hold a koala bear. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs>